Uh, you know, right, Schneider doesn't say she failed it. She just kind of a little bit cool about it. No, this last was success. I was sure that I nailed it too. <laughs> that was the worst part. <laughs> All right, sine x, cosine co x over sine x. Agree? So where does cosine x give you root 3 over 2? Serious? So I've got 30 degrees. The cosine is also, but I don't have to worry about it because it's principal values, right? So I'm done. I did that in 52. All right, number 10. So I've got 2 sine squared x equals 5 sine x plus 3, right? So look at this and go, all right, so it's quadratic, right? So the trick is to set is equal to 0, so I'm going to do that. Great. So then i got to go factors of negative 6 that give me negative 5. I'm thinking negative 6 and positive 1. So I'd set this up as 2 sine x, sine x, because I know these two have to give me 2 sine x squared, right? 2 times what gives me negative 6, negative 3, and then 1 times what gives me 1? One? 1. So I get 2 sine x plus 1 equals 0, and I get sine x minus 3 equals 0. 2 sine x equals negative 1, sine x equals 3. Sine x equals negative 1 half. Agreed? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sine x equals 3 is what? Can I make a 3? Between 1 and negative 1. And then negative 1 half? So it would be 330 degrees and 210 degrees plus 360 degrees n plus 360 degrees n, where n is equal to dot, 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 negative 1, 0, 1, 2, dot, dot, dot. Totally did that wrong. So, uh, since the principal values, I'm not supposed to do it. This is all real values, right? So I solve for all real values. Principal values means I'm going to go in the second quadrant. I'm going to go in the fourth quadrant. It's supposed to be 30 degrees. So instead of 30 degrees, it's going to be negative 30 degrees. The answer would be negative 30 degrees, and that would be the only answer. My bad. Very bad. My bad. Very bad. Yes, ma'am? Okay, I'm going to do one on this.